Hi friends, our next live session for all of our AI course enrolled students will be on the coming Sunday, which is the 9th of May 2021 at 7 p.m. As usual, you will be able to access this live session via our desktop app and uh, we will use Slack miscellaneous channel for all discussion during the, uh, during the live session itself. And in this live session, we will continue our discussion of Kubeflow, which is one of the popular open source ML ops platforms. And uh, this is the part two of our Kubeflow discussion. So in the previous discussion, which was part one, we understood the architecture of Kubeflow. We understood what Kubeflow can do, what it cannot do. We understood all of the important components of Kubeflow. In part two, we will actually end up doing an end-to-end -end coding plus configuration setup for Kubeflow to work on a simple deep learning problem. So we will not focus so much on the machine learning part of it or the deep learning part of it. We will take a simple example and we will try and use Kubeflow for end-to-end -end setup, everything from data cleaning to model serving, right? We will do all of that. Again, we'll also do hyperparameter tuning using Kubeflow. So all of the code and configuration setup that is required to take a model, a simple deep learning model that you build and how do we now productionize it, the end-to-end -end productionization and how do we perform ML ops on Kubeflow for a simple model, right? So we will discuss that in detail in the coming session. So for this session, please make sure that you have gone through part one so that we do not have to repeat some of the basic concepts and some of the basic uh, purpose of each of the components that we've discussed in part one. So uh, again, please make a note of the time. It is the coming Sunday at 7 p.m. via our desktop app.